we doing? Just doing a few checks on the old stub before we take it and, and give it a check down run. Uh, just to check out these modifications that we've done over the winter. Uh, we put a different seat on it, handlebar risers. So I'm about to take it out and give it a test ride to see if it makes much of a difference. Um, I'll give it a run. I'll video it so you can get some idea of uh, how it's going. At some point I'll pull over and I'll probably give you a walk around and uh, talk about the modifications and just give you a shakedown on uh, what I think about the roadster. So let's get togged up, let's get out on the road. Come on! Okay, I'm just going to get the bike out, get the rest of my kit on. While I'm doing that, you take a quick look at the uh, video I did and the insta installation of the handlebar risers and then we'll get out on the road and just see how they feel. Follow me. On with another little project in garage. Was finding that the riding position on the uh, Harley Roadster was a little bit too much of a reach for me and I was getting some pains in the shoulder. So we're going to have a look at seeing if it will improve by installing these. A set of two inch risers that I've managed to get. Uh, these are labelled as LA Choppers, although it does say uh, drag specialities on the label. So let's have a go at fitting them, see if it improves the ride. Okay, this should be fairly straightforward. It should be just a case of loosening and taking out these four cap heads, raising the bars up, putting the risers in underneath and then bolting everything back down with the longer cap heads that are supplied in the kit. Looks like it's one of those jobs that would be better if you've got another pair of hands. Um, I'm told that all the cables and everything are long enough for it to be lifted, um, the two inches that uh, are required. So let's see, crack on. Okay, so these are the four cap heads that retain the handlebars. We just need to take those out, lift the whole top clamp off which includes the speedometer uh, and then replace it after we've put the risers underneath it. So here we go, let's just crack them off. Might be a little bit on the tight side but uh, we'll get them. Basically just uh, break the tension one at a time and then we'll uh, whiz them out. Just putting a little mark on the handlebar so that when I uh, come to line it up it's easier to centralise them. Okay, so now to tighten everything up, now we've got everything in position. I've got these top two done, just need to get these bottom two, usually do the front ones before the, the rear ones, just to, uh, you don't need to over tighten them, but obviously these are the handlebars so they need to be tight. I will get the torque wrench out, check the settings and uh, torque them down later, but just for now, let's just get that, that's that one done, let me get this one down and tightened. Here we go. Okay, that looks like it's something like. So there they are, fitted. Less than 10 minutes. Back on.
while at Guzzy Phil's and go knocking his door in a minute. I'll just give you a quick walk round before we do that. Um, so far, the ride's been absolute pleasure. Uh, it's good to get out in the sun anyway. Some of the roads are a bit shitty, but yeah, it was good to get out. Anyway, let's have a quick look at uh, what we've done to it. They say basically, it's just the solo seat and the uh, two inch risers on the handlebars. So, as you can see, they look quite neat, the risers there, but they just give that little bit of uh, relief to your shoulders and your back. And then the seat doesn't look that much smaller than the, uh, the standard seat, but there's a little bit more width to it. Depth of padding is not brilliant, but uh, it is comfortable. It spreads the load of my butt. So, enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, as I say, good to get out. Shame some of the roads are shitty. Next thing we need to look at is these things. Stick out far too far. But uh, we'll find a solution for that. Other than that, in case of getting out, enjoying the ride and having fun. I am the Barnsley Biker. Thank you for watching. Catch you all later. Bye.